everyone, it's Miss Marty again for the last time this year. You've made it. Well, today we're talking about gravity and inertia and I'm gonna show you a couple examples and I want you to tell me where you see gravity and inertia. Let's go. All right, so I have a bucket and a ball and I'm going to run and try to drop the ball in the bucket. But I'm gonna hold the ball like this, like a T-Rex and only drop it when I am over the bucket. So do you think I can make it in the bucket? What do you think? All right, now I'm out of breath, but as you can see, I did not make it into the bucket any time but there's a scientific reason for that. So can you tell me what it is? All right, I'm here with my friend, uh, Miss Garcia. Uh, Miss Garcia, why do you think the ball didn't make it in the bucket? Um, you weren't running fast enough? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so now that she's roasted me <laughs> about my running, we said it's not because of the speed that I was running, but it's because of inertia. Inertia. And I'm jigging motion stays in motion. <laughs> but what does that mean? <laughs> so inertia happens and object in motion and motion stays in motion. So because I was running, the ball was going to it wasn't gonna drop straight into the bucket because I was still moving. So an object in motion stays in motion. It's gonna keep moving. It's not gonna drop straight down. It's gonna move at that angle. Oh. So that's why, if you try this at home, it's not possible for the ball to make it in the bucket if you do it correctly. Okay. Now you know some science. I know a little bit of science. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I saw you. <it. laughs> Because of inertia. Oh, okay. What does that mean, Miss Good? Sorry. <laughs> so, so think about the saying an object in motion stays in motion. And what's the other saying? Object at rest stays, stays at rest, rest unless oh. a force or something. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yes. So an object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. There we go. Mm -hmm. So why do they all? Come down into yeah, one cup. Of course. All right, because these cups are staying at rest. And then we pull the note card out. So they Gravity down. brings it down. Gravity and inertia. Science. <laughs> so what do these two activities have anything to do with our planets in the solar system? I'm so glad you asked. So um, these two activities represented gravity and inertia in action, which are the two forces that keep our planets moving in the solar system. This is why we're not floating out into space. This is why we're not getting pulled into the sun by the sun's gravity. It's because gravity and inertia are working together. So I know a lot of my students have been asking me, well, why don't we just float out into space? And now we have an answer. It's because of gravity and inertia. <laughs> All right, so we learned about gravity and inertia. Mm -hmm. Now y'all are experts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think would happen if we didn't have um, gravity from the sun in our solar system? What would happen to the planets? They would just float all around the, they wouldn't be in line. We right. you're, you're, half, you're half right. Uh -oh. We would fall out of the earth. Out of the... <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go back to Miss Good's answer. <laughs> um, she said we would float, but we would actually float in a straight line because of inertia. Inertia would still be there. 
So an object in motion stays in motion, we would just float on out to space. And yes, we would not be able to survive if we're just floating out into space. Right. Okay, now, what if we had the sun, but no inertia? What would happen to the planets? We would burn. <laughs> Why would we burn? Because the sun is not moving. Or we're some the planet is not moving and the sun is just gonna be right there burning. Right, right there. We might Again. run into the sun. I don't oh. know. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're correct. So if we're right, let's put the, the answers together. So we wouldn't have inertia, so we would get pulled into the sun because the gravity from the sun is still there. So we would be burnt up. Burnt up little nuggets. Get your sunscreen ready. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching again. It has been a pleasure teaching y'all this year. Um, I'm so proud of you guys for making it this far. We are almost there. I want you guys to put science rules in the chat when we get on Zoom. All right, y'all, I will see you soon. Have an awesome day. So what's supposed to happen? Yeah. They're all supposed to go in the same. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, that didn't happen. Try again. Ready? One. Yeah. On three, right? No. <laughs> I looked over. <laughs> Straight out. One, two, three, go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this one, if it wasn't there. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. We got it.